Okay, it's so one other thing I'm just going to quickly show in that you Rockstar has, which is, um, I suppose, a little bit different from the other um, sort of NAS softwares like FreeNAS. Um, and basically, it's a system called Rockons, which are like additions. And when you go into uh, Rockons, Okay, um, bit of interruption there. So basically, um, Rockons is a sort of additions you can uh, add in to the uh, system. And as you can see, when you go there first, the first thing it complains about is that the service isn't running. So of course you turn on the service and, but that's not the end of that. Because basically what you see here is telling you that you have to have a share where they're actually stored. And as you can see also, because it uses BTRFS, it loses the snapshots in order to store these these rock-ons. Um, so what we have to do, basically we can't use the share we've just created or they advise against it. So all we do is go to create a new share. And this is just for the rock-ons. obviously using our default pool and it said about five gigs so that's how much we'll just give it a little bit more and so obviously that's one of the nice things about it is just the way you've got the slider to so you can take bits out of your pool in order to um create shares which is convenient because what it means you don't have to make the partitions in advance. So we create that share. And although, of course, as you can see, this enforcement there, it says it's still waiting for um, some additions to BTRFS before it's enforced. So basically, if you go back to Rockons and then enable the service, so what we do is we choose that share we just created and so if you just make sure it starts up on boot and if we go back into rock-ons then you'll basically say we haven't got any installed and so all you have to do is click on the all and as it says click on update And basically, it then gives you a list of all the items that are available. As you can see, there are actually quite a lot of things you can install. And so, after me, I haven't installed anything yet because it doesn't seem to be that much. on there that's what you could do with this
but it seems you have a few things you can choose from. Obviously, OpenVPN is working. Mm, but it seems you just have a slight problem with the. Uh, yeah, I thought so. So that's one another thing they forget to tell you is that the if the window is too small you can't actually see the bottom of the dialog boxes. Obviously, I haven't got a public address for this yet. Okay, well, that's pretty painless. Um, so I'm not going to try at the moment to see if it actually works. Well, let's try this one again. All right. Okay, so it looks as if installing stuff on here is quite, quite straightforward. I've got no idea if these things actually work. But what I might do is um, give it a try later on. Um, because I'm going to be doing some other testing with this later on. Um, just a quick test of a firewall software. So um, once I get around to that, then I'll be doing another video in relation to that. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Okay, bye.